Communicating has never been so accessible before. Majority of us are using our internet data to, to even watch this video right now. With that is, we always demand more. We want better, faster, stronger. connections to communicate better. So, my name is Mega Azri Irfan bin Azmi. Assalamualaikum. Hi, my name is Muhammad Rukman. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Muhammad Nur Shamim Bezikifli. And today, we are going back to the year 2009 Are you ready for a new generation of wireless technology? Introducing the 4G LTE It is a much better form of 3G No, it's not 4G yet well, let me explain first. 4G LTE means it is an evolution of 3G. 3G heading towards to 4G. So it's not yet 4G but almost 4G. People ask, why don't just do 4G? Because at this point in time, our technology does not meet the minimum requirements for 4G. Therefore, we create a more accessible alternative to 4G which is the 4G LTE yeah, I can watch online videos without buffering now it's very fast uh, it's more efficient now the overall network capacity is increased so what are you waiting for get 4G LTE now for the concept of system we are talking about the networking of LTE the LTE network has four major components or subsystem. First is core network. Core network is the brain of the network. It consists of server and gateway that control access quality of service billing and network policies. And it provides access to the internet and multimedia services like telephone calls. For the second component is radio access network, RAN. The easy way to think of this is that the radio access network are the sites that you see the cell towers. These towers have transceiver equipment called E not B and antennas and provide wireless coverage for your device. For the third component is backhaul network, which is made up of fiber and microwave connection. The backhaul network connects the radio access network to the core network. The backhaul network represents the roadway where the data gets from your device back to the core network. So you can access the network to make telephone calls and access other network services. The last component is device or user equipment. It consists of cell phone, mobile routers and other devi devices used by individuals. Your cell phones will be considered user equipment. The user equipment connects directly to the radio access network. As we discussed before, the 4G LTE has four major components, which is core network, radio access network, backhaul network, and the device or the equipment. What type of modulation is used by 4G LTE? I will talk about orthogonal frequency division multiplexing or OFDM. Nowadays, OFDM is a very common multiplexing system for many of the latest wireless and telecommunication standards such as 4G LTE and many others. First of all, let's compare FDM and OFDM. FDM is allow multiple users using one channel of time and space by dividing a variable bandwidth into different non-overlapping sub-channels. A guard band is between adjacent sub-channels. As a result, different signals travel independently and without interfering with each other simultaneously. In OFDM signal, these subchannels are closely. Since there is no guard band between them, they are actually overlap. If we compare these two graphs with the same bandwidth, OFDM will allow more data transmission than FDM. The modulation on each signal can be quadratic phase shift keying QPSK 16 phase quadrature amplitude modulation 16 QAM or 64 state quadrature amplitude modulation 64 QAM depending on the speed needs. But how does OFDM prevent interference while multiplied sub channel 
overlap each other. Let's take this example. Imagine we have four different signals to send via one share channels. Or FDM signal will combine them closely together, so they are orthogonal to each other. In this case, any adjacent signal in or FDM operate without dependence and interference with other. Let me explain how this happened. Now look carefully. At these four signals, why they are orthogonal to each other? Let's focus on the signal in color blue. When the signal reach its peak point, the two adjacent, which is green signal and purple signal, are at zero point. The same concept for green signal. When the green signal reach the peak point, the other two signal at zero point. With the same pattern with red and purple signal. Therefore, orthogonal means signal are multiplex in a way that the peaks of one signal occur when the adjacent signals are at zero point. Next, analysis and discussion. For this analysis and discussion, we are talking about advantages and disadvantages of 4G LTE. There are five advantages in the in the 4G LTE, which is data as well as voice can be exchanged between participants. High amount of data can be transferred between the sender and the receiver. It has high speed of the file upload and download. Decrease the traffic and move towards lesser crash in the service. Live shows, matches, and events can be easily watched using LTE. For these advantages, coverage that does not cover all areas, especially rural areas. LTE being complex needs only skill people to manage the system. This technology cannot be used in all versions of smartphones. And buying new smartphones for LTE is a costly affair. So there you have it for GLTE. Uh, so we, what do we know now? While it is a big improvement from 3G, it's technically not 4G yet. It is an alternative of 4G. And then we know the concept of the system which uses core, backhaul and random access network. And then we learn about the modulation uh, and the OFDM. And finally, we discuss about... Hmm, what did we discuss about? Yes, the pros and cons of the system. According to our current state in Malaysia, 4G will be the most accessible network for these few coming years. Malaysia will be introduced with 5G in 2023. Uh, in 2023, it will be released to the general public to use because right now, the government is focusing on having more 4G coverage all across the country. So that concludes our video and I hope you guys can take a few lessons from this video and Assalamualaikum and have a good day. Thank you for watching.